Well, hi, y'all. It's Trixie. I am going to pose as a disabled senior citizen and go along with this sweepstakes scammer to see if he tries to steal my money. With him being a minister and all, I can probably trust him, right? For you music lovers, there might be a song or two, so get your earplugs. If you saw the short I posted with Legitiman, here is the whole bait. The audio on his side isn't great on the first call. I did the best I could with it. Let's go. And you say you're Mary Williams? Yes. All right, you're always calling about a sweepstakes prize. You have a lucky one. We'll fight really a prize? Fight it out, then. I, I want a prize? You have me. I'm here for $5,500,000. Five million? I won five million five hundred thousand. Yes, ma'am. No, I, about it? I don't know anything about it. Okay, are you interested? Do you have this claim today? Yes. Yes, glory be, yes. All right, and you have you've been won five million five hundred thousand along with five thousand dollars every week for life. Along with the 2001, of course, the class Mercedes SUV should be delivered to you today. What? Well, how did I win? All right, your name was selected in a grand draw with over 20,000 American citizens. Your name was come up, come, come up as a second place winner for 5,500,000. Congratulations to you. Well, my Lord, thank you. I, 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 I can't believe it. At this time, can you um, have the three? You're going to say uh, your full name and your address in the recorded systems so we could be able to have everything finalized for you today. All right? Okay. One, two, three. Uh, my name is Mary Williams. My address is 301 Virginia. All right. At this time, ma'am, we have everything here, and you are the right person. Should be receiving this million squad um, today. First, I'm just going to ask you a couple of information just for a company filing and then towards the delivery of your prize. Are you American citizen? Yes, I am. Proud to be an American. That's right. Are you married? Single, widow, or divorced? Uh, I'm a widow. You are a widow. How you would like this check to be delivered to you today, public or confidential? Uh, what's the difference? All right, public. Everyone in the world would be knowing about your prize. When we say private, it means you and our company alone would be knowing about this prize. Well, I guess public. Will I be on TV? Yes, ma'am. The local TV station, radio station, YouTube, you'll be all over. All right. All right. So at this time, your check has been insured, registered, investing about your check. Your check is a cashier's check. There is no taxes on your sweepstakes promise, all right? Oh, well, okay. Wonderful. Yes, ma'am, ma'am. So I will the only thing, thing what required, required here, here for you to take it care, care of your, 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 your approval stamp. stamp. Okay, Ganga Sam is the one uh, have, you have to have this taken care of too. That is your government approval stamp to the National U.S. Treasury. Once you have this taken care of, the document will be signed and your money will be delivered to you today. I have to do what with the U.S. Treasury? Now you have to take care of your approval stamp, all right? An that approval is, stamp? Yes, ma'am. That would be I don't know what stamp. that is. All right, let me explain to you. That is the stamp of approval. We'll be showing your bank. Your check is fully approved by your government. So as soon as we have come over to your place of residence, escorting to your, you down to your bank of choice, we will be having this... Uh, there will be seen that your check is fully approved by your government. 
So they will be honor you cash 30 minutes to our time. You will be able to start spending your millions. All right? All right. Uh, okay. All right. So uh, this person that's why I need to go to the bank and get their approval stamp. No. What happened, I will be giving you a name and address where you're going to have the approval stamp taken care of so we could able to have uh, your money delivered to your place of residence, all right? The, uh, the name and address where I'm going to give to you that to the dollars in the National U.S. Treasury, your name, your stamp will be having stamp on your documents, all right? Okay. All right, your stamp will be costing you only $4,550. Can you get a clean sheet of paper and a pen for me? Uh, yes, I've got one right here. $4,550. Is that right? Yes, 4550 That's right. So are you able to have it taken care of today so we could be able to make your delivery? 4550 Um. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we could do that today. That'd be great. Do you have a cell phone? Uh, no, they're just a house phone. I don't leave the house very much. I'm disabled. All right. Do you drive? No. All right. So how are you going to get the 4500 in your hands? Well, it's in my bank. I can use the online banking. Pardon? Are you saying I need cash? Yeah, you, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Do, you, do, you, uh, do you say you do online banking? Yes, there's no way I can get that much cash today. The bank's closed. The bank closed. Right. I'd have so to use the online banking. So how are you going to have what you want to do? You want to have uh, uh, online banking? So what what are you going to be needed to have this taken care of? Well, I can write a check. You can write a check, yeah. All right, it's good. The money's in the bank. Yes, ma'am. But um, we are the best you could able to get cash. It would be better for we to have your money uh, delivered uh, today or tomorrow or your place of residence. Well, what would I do with the cash? Yeah, the cash will be going very faster. The cash, you're going to have the cash there. And we will be giving your name and address. We're going to have it mailed off to so we could be able to get your approval stamp approved on the same day. Oh, mailing cash? Oh, no, that's yeah. too dangerous. I would I would want to mail a check. You ready to mail a cashier's check? Yeah, not cash. My goodness, that's dangerous. No problem. Once I think it's once, illegal. I know, but once, once we have this taken care of for the faster way, Fast the way we could able to get everything done. All right. So what I've been uh, what I'm gonna do? Can I contact you back? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So listen, what are you gonna do at this present time? Uh, who you would like to be the beneficiary of your check? If anything to happen to you? Oh, uh, my brother. And what is first name? Uh, Bert. Bert, okay. All right. At this time, ma'am, uh, Miss Williams, I want you to keep your business private and confidentially. You should not be spreading your business to anyone. I don't want anyone to rob you of any money when you receive it, all right? So for now, we uh, want you to keep your business private and confidentially till we get there. You could be able to expose your business to anyone you would like it to expose it. All right, but for now, okay. I want you to have your business private and confidential. All right. All right. Okay. That sounds wonderful. You going to call me back in a few minutes? Yeah, I will call you back in, 30, uh, in about 20 minutes. I'm going to get okay. some paperwork signed up here so we could be able to try to get things started up for you. So I uh, guess it will be uh, tomorrow. Will be, we will make your delivery to you, all right? 
Okay, so that sounds that wonderful. All right, so that I can take you back. Thank you. All right, bye bye. Yes. All right, uh, Mr. Anderson, contacting you back. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, at this present time, you say we're going to try to get this done tomorrow. What is the best time we could be able to get the delivery to you tomorrow? Oh, any time's fine. Okay. All right. So tomorrow we're going to try to get things done. May I ask you the time you have there now? Well, any time tomorrow's fine. What's good for yeah, you? But I'm a- what? I'm asking you the time you have there now. Oh, time now. It's uh, 8.13 p.m. 8.13 p.m. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to contact you tomorrow by the latest 9 o'clock, all right? All right. Okay, all right. All right, so God bless you now, and uh, have a safe night. Have a good night. Sweet dreams to you. And God bless you, because I did not tell you that I'm a minister. I'm a minister for 30 years now. I'm working here at 25 years now as a company. So at this time, uh, you're talking to a man of God, so everything is only open up here, all right? Oh, my goodness. You're a minister of a church? Yes, ma'am. I'm a oh, uh, that is Wonderful. I, you know, I could tell there was something special about your voice the minute I talked to you. I bet you're a, I bet you're a singer. Are you a singer? Pardon? I bet you can really sing the, the sing the gospel. Yes, ma'am. I'm a minister. I do, I sing, uh, and I preach, and so forth. So, oh my goodness. Have, have you um? Have you been working on your sermon for this Sunday? Yes, ma'am. I'm not going to be able to go to church on Sunday. Could you just maybe just sing me a little something? No problem. That is okay. Uh, well, tomorrow? Uh, well, could you do it right now? No. What happened tonight? I'm, I'm just uh, signing off work now. So you're going to be... T- we're going to have everything signed off of work now. So tomorrow we're going to have everything started up and get your delivery out to you, all right? Okay. Um, so can you sing a little bit now? Any hymn is fine. It would be such My a... My Jesus is real. What? Listen up. I have to go to... to uh, Get signed up now, so we'll call and get can take you tomorrow. Well, my goodness, I'm going to tell you something. I'm sure you've heard it a million times that your voice is beautiful. That is that wonderful. Is Thank you. You have a gift. Then that's right. Everyone, let me know. Not the first or time they letting me know that I have a gift here. So yeah. uh, I will I will call you tomorrow by the latest nine o'clock. All right. Okay, that sounds good. All right. God bless you now and take care of yourself, sweet dreams. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Hello. Hi. Uh, who is it? Yeah, this yeah. is Mr. John Anderson. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, and you remember uh, what you supposed to have done so we could make a delivery? Um, you said I needed to pay uh, like four thousand dollars. Four thousand five hundred. Right. right. Do you, uh, did you, did you uh, obtain the four thousand at home? Well, I have it in my bank. I don't have it at home. Or you do sell? Or you have cash up? Uh, no, I use uh, I use Bank of America. And I use uh, that one online from where I used to live, and I use People's Bank here. Mm-hmm. But I'm the Texan. Do you have cash up on your phone? Uh, no, no. This is a, my house phone. Uh, so what? Uh, what about your cell phone? No, you I don't. Me, I don't use a you, cell phone. You, you, no, you let me know you have online banking, right? Yes, I do. Yes. So you have it on your phone? No, I have it on my computer. 
so what you could able to do, you could able to ca- you could able to cash up, you could able to use cash up. Um, uh, in my online banking, um, uh, I have where I can write a check. I have where I can do a, a deposit, and I have where I can do a wire transfer. Okay. All right. So which one is it, it is for uh, the best one for you to get done today? Um, well, any of them, any of the three of them. Uh, I guess if it has to be done today, it would be the transfer uh, or the deposit. The check one takes a couple of days. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. So what I want to know, uh, we want to get this done for you. Uh, did anyone contact you about the prize? You did. I'm the only one, right? Yes. All right, all right, all right. And you are Mary Williams. That's right. That's right. All right. And uh, we are here looking at uh, your money. What we have here to be delivered to you. And let I ask you, how much bank you do business with? How much bank, bank do I you do business, business with? with? Yes. Well, I deal with people's bank. Just hold a line here for me. Just hold a line a second here for me, all right? Just hold oh, line. okay. Yes, hello? Yes. Yeah, we are trying to make a delivery. We want to try to make your delivery to you today, all right? Oh, good. Yes, ma'am. But what happened, uh, remember your approval stamp, that is the only stamp of approval, what you needed, what you needed taken care of so we could make the delivery, all right, 44500 All right, once you have this taken care of, the delivery will be made it out to you today. Oh, okay. And there's no, and there's no way you could able to have the 4500 in hands in cash. Um. In cash? Yeah. Uh, to give to you when you get here? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Um, I mean, I guess I could. I could go to the bank and get the cash. Yes, because what happened? Either if you have it in hand, I will be giving you a name and address where you're going to have it mailed off to. All right, because the courier guys cannot take cash from you. All right. Oh. Um. Yeah, we, we will give you a name and address. We will be having it sent to the National U.S. Treasury, so you could be able to have uh, your prize sent out to you today or uh, tomorrow. Hold on. Let me get a let me get a pen so I can write it all down. Hold on. All right, I'm ready. All right, I'm just letting you know. Just get the four four thousand five hundred in cash. Once you have it in cash and you can tap me, I will let you know exactly what we're going to have done and where we're going to have it sent to. All right, I will be getting the name and address with the accountants who will be working. All right. You don't know where where it goes no, now? No, we, we're going to be uh, getting the name of the accountants and what we've been working. All right, so do you just have to get the cash? So we could be able to get the information to give to you. Well, I ain't mailing cash. Oh, you're not mailing cash. Do you want to mail a cash here, Jack? Yeah, that, that would be safer. I ain't mailing box of cash. Oh, you afraid of to have the cash mailed? No problem. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. But because what, what happened? What an odd request. Pardon? What an odd request. Oh, cash? Oh, cash, yes. Oh. That doesn't sound safe at all. <coughs> okay. Are you sure so, this uh, is real? Yes, ma'am. This is a 100% guarantee, and I'm a legit- legitimate. I'm a minister for 30 years now, all right? Just, okay. uh, just have a little bit of... I just have a cold. Last week, I get up a little draft. Yeah, and uh, call is giving me a problem today. Okay. Well, what happened, Miss Williams? I want to know no, exactly. No, the same person I talked to last week. Yes, this is Mr. Anderson. Okay. You, what you say? I don't sound like the same person. Uh, I I guess not. I guess it's it's fine. 
It's fine. I'm, 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 I'm. Well, just hold it on. Yes. So what I want to know uh, exactly, we want to get things done today. So you have to let me know what you could able to get done today. Do you, you say you could able to have... Uh, you could able to have uh, the money uh, sent to uh, direct deposit or wire transfer? Uh, yeah. All right. So you need an account and routine number to have this send off? Uh, yes, but I can do it in my online bank. Pardon? Then I can do it in my online bank. Oh, you want to do it with your online bank? Uh, yeah, if that's okay with you. All right. So you don't mind if I call you back in a uh, in a thirty minutes time? Uh, okay. All right. That'll be fine. All right. Well, I can take okay. in thirty minutes. God bless. You. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. Anderson. Yeah, Mr. Anderson. Just talk with my manager, and they say you have to have the four thousand five hundred cash in your hands. All right. Oh. Um. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry about anything. Everything is already open up. Just get a four thousand five hundred cash in your hands and contact me back. All right? Okay. I'm gonna send it to the U.S. Treasury. Now, just get it in your hands. We're gonna be tell let you know what you're gonna have done when you have the cash in hands. All right? Well, I'm disabled. It, 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 once I go to the bank and come back home, am I gonna have to go out somewhere else? No, you're going to stay right there, all right? Just... You're going to come pick it up? No, what happened, we will let you know exactly what you're going to be have. We're going to get done, all right? So just get the 4500 in your hands, and I will I will contact you and, and call me back, all right? You can't tell me what I'm going to do with the money now? No, I don't. I have to get in touch with my manager or the Department of Treasury to exactly know what's we gonna, what we're going to have done. So that's the reason why I'm letting you know, get the cash in hands. So when you have the cash in hands at home, we will get all the information by that time, all right? Well, you let me know when you know, okay? Pardon? You let me know when you have everything ready. And then I'll have, go take care of everything I need to do in one trip. I'm not going out, coming home, going out, coming home. I'll, I don't need to do it in one trip. No, just you're not going back home. Out. One trip you're making, all right? You're just going to get the cash and get back home. And then somebody's going to come pick it up? I don't really sure what's going to be happening, but they say you should get the cash in hand. Till they're ready to tell, let you know what you're going to have done. Uh, well, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. I, and, but until I know everything I'm doing, I'm not going to do anything because I, somebody could rob me. You might be setting me up for somebody to rob me coming out of the bank. And, and unless and I, this is this is sounding too too fishy to me. Uh, no, no. You don't know where I'm going to send the money. If you don't no. know that I can't no. trust you, I'm sorry. Pardon? If you don't even know where I'm supposed to send the money, I, I can't trust you. I'm well, sorry. You can't trust me. What's the problem? Because you don't even know where I'm going to send the money. No, I am not. I don't know at this present time. I guess someone well, when will you come know, up. you call me back, I guess. Until then, things will just be the way they are. All right. I will, well, as soon as I know, know, I will contact you. All right. Goodbye. Okay. Well, I don't know about all this. It's... Hi. Hello. 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 Are you, are you, you know who you're talking to? Uh, Mr. Anderson? Yes, it's Mr. Anderson. All right. Uh, what my company are saying, uh, my manager is saying that you say you have a login for your bank. I have what? You have a login at your bank, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, I can log into my bank. All right. Well, did you, did you say, did you try to get the 4500 Uh No. I. Uh, you told me you wanted cash. No, I said get the cash and get back home. And do you remember what I said? 
you said you're afraid to get cash. That's right. All right. So what they're saying now, can you able to give us a login at your bank? Say that one more time. They say if you are able to give us the login for your bank. You want me to give you my bank login? Yes, ma'am. Oh, no. Why would I do that? No, that what they say, if you could able to give us the bank login for your bank, that would be okay. Oh, no. I, I, I can't give that out. Okay. Because what they're saying that they don't see account available now where you could able to make a transaction to, that is uh, their problem at this present time. Oh, well, um, I'm starting to think this is all fake. Like, I, no, no, okay, no, no, no. like you just, no. I think you, I think you might be trying to steal my money. No, ma'am, we are not. It's all up to know. you. It's all up to you what you want to do, right? So you have to let me know exactly how you could get the money to the National U.S. Treasury. Uh, That's what they were saying to you. Did you say you're a Christian man? I'm a minister. Yes. I remember you said that. Um, maybe if you sang a song from church, then I would know you're telling the truth. Pardon? Maybe if you sang a song from church, then I would know that you're telling the truth about that. You want me to sing a song from church? Yeah. Real, real, real. Christ so real to me. I love it. It's going to give us the victory. Many people love it, but I can do without it. That is why I love him so. It's so real to me. So, I am on the door. The rock is higher than high. Jehovah guide me. I'm on the roll. Yes. Well, that's nice. Um. Well, uh. Now, how do I know for sure this isn't a scam? No, this is not a scam. This is a hundred percent legit company, and I'm a legitimate. All right. Yeah. Uh, we are, here, we are here trying to do the best for you to receive your money. All right. I swear it on my grandmother's grave. This on this is on the open up here for you. Did you say you're a legitimate? Yes, ma'am. I don't know what that is. Legitimate. That means I'm very legit and the company is a legit company. Oh. Okay. I don't know all those words. I'm sorry. Okay. So what you say, you are you could able to get the money to the company so we could make a delivery? Well, I tell you what. I'll go ahead and get that cash, and um, uh, you can pick it up when you get here since you don't have anybody for me to send it to. Mm-hmm. So you want me to go get it now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and what time are you going to come pick it up? As soon as you get back, you just contact me to let me know that you have the cash at home. Okay, all right. I'm going to go right now then. It probably will take me about 45 minutes. Okay, do that and call me back. Okay, all right. Okay. Thank okay. you. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello. Bye. Bye. I just ran in the door. Hold it, hold it. I just got home. Okay, you just got home? Yes. Okay, so did you get this $4,500? Uh, yes, $4,550. Okay. So I, uh, just hold the line there. Can you hold the line for me? Okay. I get something to eat and so forth. I get get a cup of water to drink. 
the tree to fall down till I said hello. Oh, how long's it gonna take? No, just hold it on. I'm just gonna talk with my manager. Okay, you gonna call me back? No, I'm on the line. Just hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, hello. Yes. All right. And you say, uh, what my manager is saying, that uh, you have the cash in hand, so what we're going to do, we're going to have it uh, mailed to the, uh, how far is the post office? Of the what? Post office. How far is the post office away from you? Well, I told you if I was going to mail it, I wanted to do it while I was out. Oh. But well, what they're saying that uh, you could use a regular mail or the, you could be able to use the post office. Well, uh, I guess I got to go back to the post office then. Well, where am I mailing it to? Yeah, we're going to give you, are going to find the information and give it to you. All right. Just give me a second. I'm looking up uh, for the information to send to me. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I'm going to let one of my uh, agents uh, give you the information, all right? Okay. Hello? One of my agents. Yeah, I'm right here. Okay, perfect, perfect. Hello, this is Mr. John Cooper. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? That's great. I'm doing great, and I'm currently seeking with at this moment. And I'm yeah. currently speaking. Yes, and I'm currently speaking with at this moment. Are you asking me who am I? That's correct. <laughs> That's correct, my love. That's correct. You, I'm the winner, and you don't know who I am. No, no, no. This is one of the agent. This is one of the agent that's going to provide you with the information where where you will be mailing it. Okay. Well, this is Mary Williams. Who did you think it was? That's, yes, yes, yes. That's correct. Yes, <laughs> that's correct. So as I stated, do you have yourself a clean sheet of paper with a pen or a pencil at this moment? Uh, yes. Okay. Tell me when you're ready, my love. As I stated, my name is Mr. John Cooper. Tell me when you're ready. John Cooper. I'm going to write that That's down. Correct. Okay. I'm going to say well, I'm ready. That's correct. Okay. So you will be mailing this old Larry. L-A-R-R-Y. That's Larry. Okay. Woman. Okay. Okay. Face, here's the address. Okay, okay, this is a national U.S. strategy address. Okay, as I stated, it's 441 uh-huh. F A V E F. Okay. Face Lincoln, L I N C O L N. That's Lincoln. Okay. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a national U.S. strategy, okay? Okay, perfect, perfect. I'm seeing you in the first game. I, I can't understand what you're saying as muscle. Okay, can you, okay, you have the Larry, is that correct? Yes. And E six eight. Okay, that's correct. Oh, that's correct. I don't know. Is it cool? Open at this moment. I you're it's muffled but it's like I, I it's like I can't hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, is the post office currently open at this moment? Uh well, now it's after 5 o'clock. I told That's Mr. Correct. Anderson to give me the information before I left so I could do everything oh while God. I was out. Oh, my so I God. I, so... I had to get all the way back home and then be told to go out again. I'm disabled. It's not that easy for me to get out. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello. Okay, okay. Well, I'm just have that. You know, you just pick it up when here. you get here. When are you coming? What time are you okay. coming? No, okay. On the time I'm currently coming, let me see. We will have to do this tomorrow, okay? Because listen, you will have to take your federal stamp. So listen, you will have to you will have to go to the post office in the morning, okay? He said you were coming today. Let me talk to him that- again. That's correct. No, we should be coming today, but listen, remember we have to authorize it here in the in the system, okay? Hello? Yeah. Okay, you want to speak to a friend, is that correct? Hello? No. Oh, no, I don't. No. Okay. I, I don't. Okay. No, I don't. I don't want to talk to oh, him. Okay. No. So is that, tell, me, okay. tell me what time you're coming tomorrow then. I, I don't okay. know why you lied to me. Tell me what kind of time you're coming tomorrow then. 
No, no, it was supposed to be today, my love. It was supposed to be today, okay? Yes, what time are you coming today then? Oh, okay, so let me check you in the system. What was time you're supposed to be? Let me check you. Don't lie to me. Okay, because we didn't authorize it here in the system that you have to take your your federal stamp, you will have to schedule it for a delivery tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Will that be okay for you or no, 3 o'clock? No, come today, because that's what you, you told want... me you were doing. Yes, yes, my love. Calm down. You, will, I guarantee you 100%, you will be seeing us live and direct, okay? You doesn't have to worry, I promise you, okay? what time? What, what, oh. Hello? Hello? Yes, hold on the line. Hold on the line. One moment, my love. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Yes. All right. All right. We got the information. information. Well, what time are you coming today? Not going to be today be. because you need to have the uh, the receipt in hands. I told you. When I left here, if I needed to take the money somewhere that I wanted to go when I left, and you told me I wasn't going to be coming back home and then going back out, and then here it is. You lied to me. Yeah, you lied uh, to me no, about what, coming no, today. what happened? You lied what to happened? me about what I was doing with this money. Why are you what lying happened? to me? What happened? Because my manager, my manager let me know that uh, the money has to be sent uh, to, to the National U.S. Treasury for me to get your approval stamp approved and have stamped it on your prize so we could be able to make a delivery. And I we see everything gonna have to be moving until tomorrow. All right. You lied to me though. Why did you no, lie? I'm so, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am. What time I'm are you coming sorry. tomorrow? I don't I'm really sure about the time but we it's oh schedule God. what we I listen, think you're I think you're trying to steal my money. I think you're a liar. You keep lying to me over and over. I, what I said to you, I said about one o'clock delivery we have. All right, I'll see you at one o'clock. So what you say you're gonna do? What you gonna do? You gonna have it mail off? No, sir, I'm not. You pick it up when you get here. I'll see you at one o'clock. We'll see if you see if you're telling the truth. The approval stamp has to be stamped on your prize, and without we stamp the approval stamp, we're not gonna make a delivery. Well, you're a liar, then. How can you do that to people? Call and tell them they want some money and then lie, 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 lie. How can you do that? What kind of sick person you, are you? You're trying to frost off of me, ma'am. What? What What? What you say you, what you're going to do? Let me know. I ain't doing nothing. I'm taking this money back to the bank in the morning. That you want to do, you, you do. You lied to me. You lied to me. And once somebody lies to you, you can't trust them with a word out of their mouth. Now, you told me you were coming today. You told me I had to get the cash and be here and that I wasn't going to take it anywhere else. That was a lie. You're a liar. Once somebody shows you who they are, you believe them that you have shown me that you're a liar. You want this to happen for you, ma'am, or not? What? You want this to happen for you or not? No, I don't want you to steal my money. Oh, so that's what you're saying, that I'm going to steal your money. I think you're a thief. Yes, I do. Okay. And I think that you're a liar. Now, what in the world have I lied about, you thief? You're trying to steal my money. You lied to me the whole time. I didn't... Yes, hello? Hello? I'm going to report you to the police, you liar. Hello? Hello? Why would you try to steal an I'm old not, lady's I'm money? Not, I'm not trying to steal any money from you, all right? This is very... Yes, easy. you are. No, we are not. You're you not tried not. to get my bank. Now, I'm thinking it all through now. It's all making sense. You tried to get my bank login from me. You probably uh, would have taken every penny I had out of that bank. No, ma'am. But at least be honest. No. Oh, at least be honest out. now. And tell me it's fake, liar. What is fake? This is not fake. That you're making a lot of noise. I cannot bother with the uh, the talking, talking, talking. I'll stop talking. You tell me. Pardon? I'll stop talking. You tell me. Yeah, your money is here, and it's here to be delivered to you. Why I would try to take a dime from you now? I feel very sick, so tell me what you're going to do. I'm not going to let you steal my money. Okay, so you have a good day. Oh, that's it. I knew you'd admit it sooner or later. That's it. Thank you for admitting that you're a thief. 
Yes, hello. Hello. And if you think you can show up at my house and rob me, since you know I have this cash here, you better count on me shooting your head off. Listen, let's keep your money with you, all right? You don't have time to play around. You have a I am keeping my money, and I'm going to keep my gun right at me all night long. If you show up here to steal this money, you're going to leave with your head gone. Do you, do, you, do, you have, do you have a favorite charity you want us to send your money to? Yeah, Scammers R Us. Send it to them. All right, thank you. Thief. Well, that's it. I'm going to tell you about the receiver the scammer gave me. The receiver's name is Mr. Larry. Mr. Larry is a 77-year-old man who I assumed was a victim. I called Mr. Larry's residence. His wife answered. I spoke with her. We had a lovely conversation where I informed her of the scammers, which she acknowledged had contacted them. I encouraged her to call police. When the call ended, I felt pretty good about it. Until the next day. I was talking to another scammer who gave me Mr. Larry's information again. This time, it included a bank account. I called Mr. Larry again. This time, I got Mr. Larry on the phone. I tried to talk to him, but the entire time, his wife, who was so pleasant with me on the phone, was screaming in the background that I'm a liar, telling him to hang up. At this point, I suspected they are working with the scammers. This happens after someone has been scammed, usually out of a lot of money. The scammers will use the person to launder money, letting them keep a little of it. It's tempting, I'm sure, but it's so dangerous. They are the easiest ones for law enforcement to catch. Still unsure and still troubled, later that evening, I had a special kind of scam baiter friend contact the scammer who confirmed that Mr. Larry could be trusted to receive money. I was heartbroken. The information, including info on Mr. Larry, went to the FBI and on an IC3 report. Thank you all so much. I look forward to hearing your comments. I, um, I, I love them. Just love them. See you next time.